Yesterday I went to Kmart, got me a $129 Anko coffee, semi-automatic coffee machine. Uh, also got a uh, Kmart grinder as well, doesn't work too bad. Um, so firstly, you got your drip tray, everything goes down into there. That actually comes out, so you can empty it into the sink or whatever you need to do. Got a little slide here. That's for uh, if you're making an espresso shot, or you know, you have a small coffee like myself. Um, finishes all right. Water tank holds quite a bit and doesn't use it that much to make, you know, quite a few coffees. Milk frother, just uh, the only thing I found with the instruction manual is this little thing on the back here. It's got lock and unlock, but it's got nothing in the instruction manual about it whatsoever. Uh, your milk frother just clicks in like that. You can take it out and put it in, stick it in the fridge when you're done with it, or you can discard the milk, up to you. Uh, you got a double shot strainer in the middle there. Also comes with a single shot, but I like my coffee strong, so I use the double. Uh, scoop, tamp, and uh, yeah, let's switch her on. A little switch on the side here. Lights will start blinking. Um, they'll, uh, you'll know when it's ready to be ready to make a coffee when uh, those blue lights stop blinking. Uh, you've got a couple of different functions. You've got a cap, uh, espresso, small and a double. For single, you press one. Double, you press two. Same with your cappuccino. Same with your latte. If you want to control your coffee shots, you hold the espresso button in for three seconds and then press it again once you're finished. Uh, if you want to just froth milk, you hold the cappuccino button in for three seconds and then once you've got your milk, press it once more and that'll stop it. To do the clean cycle, you hold the latte button for three seconds. You've got to make sure you've got some water in your milk frother and water in your water tank. Right, so I'll show you how to uh, make a coffee with this thing. I've got some pre-ground coffee grounds that I grounded last night with my Kmart Anko coffee grinder just using Harris yes well it so get your scoop this is going to be a bit tricky to do at the same time as film but we'll see how we go it's also got a max line on the inside of your pucks so you can um, you know how much coffee to put in Level it out a bit. Add a bit more coffee. Okay. Now, I don't actually like how much milk the uh, latte and cappuccino one gives you. So I'm going to... Uh, do it manually myself because I like a nice strong coffee. Actually pours quite nicely this thing. I have had a little play around with it. Every time you use it make sure you try and wipe off all the coffee grounds from around the outside there. Right, so goes into the unlock position. Sometimes it can be a bit fiddly, like this is doing tonight, uh, today. What's going on with this? As you can see, a bit of a pain. There we go. So you'll see a little groove here kind of needs to line up and then straight on 
into the lock position. Now I've got a slightly smaller cup so I'm going to have to put out the little tray and uh, here we go. Radio. So this will also program your espresso shots as well I do believe. Love the smell of coffee in the morning. Okay. Nice creamy espresso shots there. Now, for your milk, <coughs> this little here thing here comes out to the side. If you're making a cappuccino or latte, always make sure that that is actually in your cup before you press the start button because otherwise you'll have some problems you'll have milk everywhere so that one there now up the top you end up with less froth more milk the further you turn it down this way the more froth you get less milk so I'm gonna do it manually because I only like a small coffee. So, holding the cappuccino button for three seconds. It'll start to blink. There we go. Turn it this way, you end up with more milk. Turn it this way, you end up with more froth. And just press the cappuccino button to stop it. And there we have my style of coffee. It's rather creamy. Um, where's my sugar? Over there, just grab a spoon. Alright. Now always remember as well when you uh when you finish making your coffee, always empty your grounds. You don't really want that stuck up in there for a while. And um otherwise your next coffee is gonna taste pretty horrible. Tastes like coffee, burnt coffee grounds. A little bit of sugar, and look at how creamy that is. <coughs> right, now the empty coffee grounds. Put the milk proper back away. This coffee grounds. This little thing here flicks up, so that it holds onto your puck. Right, as you can see, not everything comes out, so grab a chuck's cloth, wipe it out, and uh, she's good to go for the next coffee. Hope you enjoy.